Hello everyone and welcome back to FIFA 13 Career Mode Episode 3. So we've had our contract offers accepted for both 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 Fabian Delph and Kuyute. So we go ahead and accept the offer for Fabian Delph. I'm glad to have him on our books. Um gonna slot nicely into centre midfield and I miscalculated the uh, Transfer budget, so we had to stall the uh, transfer of Coyote, our new fast young centre back. So Fabian Delph uh, is arriving, said there. So I promptly head into the sale players category and put uh, someone up for sale, which turned out to be, <coughs> excuse me, not needed. Um, as we're going to find out in a second, um, because uh, Obeng on the way out. Yep, he is on the way out. Um, transfer offer for Danny Graham. That's why seven million from Palermo. He's valued at five point five million. Uh, except, except, except. So that's Danny Graham out the door. So it turned out that Obeng wasn't really need to be put up for sale, but um, I put him up anyway. I, as if you see later in the episode, he leaves. Um, the player sold Danny Graham went to Palermo there for seven million. <coughs> good, uh, good business there. And then I go and finally accept our transfer for Kuyute. And we got him, signature, signed, sealed. <clears throat> and then I'll promptly go and uh, move Fabian Delph and uh, Kuyute into the starting lineup. Uh, Kuyute in place of Chico Flores. And um, <clears throat> Fabian Delph in the place of Leon Breton. Good bit of business there. And we've received a transfer off of Curtis Obeng from Peterborough, 425k, and he's out the door. Mid-table obscurity for Swansea, the <coughs> press, I guess, is what it is supposed to be. I'm predicting we're going to finish 14th. Uh, we're going to see if we can better that. But here we go, jump straight into the first game today. Uh, first game of the season, actually. First game of the Premiership season. Um, away at Queen's Park Rangers. Um, I would imagine that they will be a fellow, re uh, we're not going to be a relegation, but they're, they're probably going to be floating around that relegation zone this season, so um, we really should be beating teams like this, uh, so they had an early on chance there, uh, but just couldn't capitalise on it, so we should really be beating teams like this if we're going to progress up the table, the board wants us to finish 14th. Um, I think we can do a lot better than that, but really good last ditch tackle there, um, dribble Cissé was through on goal, and uh, we managed to save it, so header from the corner there from Mbia, managed to uh, get a save from Michel Vorm, and uh, QPR were a quite decent side to play against actually, because I've I've come into this game and I thought probably going to be able to roll over these, um, but I was wrong. They were a really tough team to play. Um, and as I said, a lot better than I was expecting. They got good players. They got obviously Adele Tarapt and Granero in midfield. Cisse, Junior Hoylet, very good players. Of Udo Cesar and Goal, um, very good players. We got. A Pablo Hernandez here out on the wing gets that ball in the box <coughs> and Maddox pulls out a save from Julio Cesar himself uh, so here's Jisung Park here formerly of Manchester United captain of QPR now I do believe <coughs> but we have uh, Cissé trying to dance his way through our defence there and getting deflection off out for a corner um, before this game, I stupidly thought there was one more preseason friendly, so I went and changed around the whole team, rests and players, 
Um, obviously, you have to change the team back. And we could quick throw it here. And doesn't work. And we just creating our own problems. QPR on the prowl. <clears throat> so we throw the ball out here. Pablo Hernandez back inside to De Guzman. Back inside to Michu. Poor through ball to Maddox there, really. And uh, if I remember right, really, we regain possession, regain possession here. Michu through to Delph. Delph sprinting up, taking a shot and put put in a save at the goalkeeper there. Um, Ashley Williams with a header from the corner here, saved, and that was it for the first half. Um, forward to the second half here. <coughs> God, my throat, man. I tell you what, these I'm spring cold still here. So very unlucky there from QPR, which is pulling us apart. Obviously, uh, Kuyute. It's just his first game in a Swansea shirt. So, and we got an excellent through ball there, absolutely top class. Um, Pablo Hernandez. Passes it through and Darren Maddox, our super striker, manages to miss. So we've got a hoof out here from Julio Cesar. And a breakaway here from QPR. Cisse getting through. Free ball through to Granero. And we managed to somehow fumble the ball away there. But it's coming up toward the end of this game um, just really scrappy player midfield here um, <coughs> trying to put the pressure on trying to get that winning goal first game of the season get some points on the board um, Mattox wins the ball high up the pitch puts that cross in and comes to nothing eventually QPI will get the ball back here there we go see where they regain the ball there make a note of that oh no we get the ball back here. There we go. Clear up from QPR. Fourth official puts up two minutes of injury time. A Delta Rap tears through the centre of our defence. Bang. 1-0. 1-0. And was not good. Um, not good. We lo end up losing the first game of the season 1-0. But hey-ho, on to the next one. Some results there from the first day of the season. And at this point, I thought, why not invest in youth? We got a bit of money from the Danny Graham sale. Um, why don't we set up our scouting network to get kids in? So we go ahead and employ a couple of scouts here, one from Germany and one from England. Um, tend to be quite expensive, but I I love playing around with the youth um, players. It's very good. <coughs> so they both arrived and are ready to scout. Um, we go ahead and set them up. We send the German guy to guess where? Germany. And the English guy, we make him scout around England a little bit. Just stupid map thing couldn't find Germany and there it is send him away three months Jack Smalley we send him to England and we make him six months and we head straight into the second game of the season against West Ham United who should also be um, floating around that relegation area so again a team that we should really be beating um, Obviously under the management of Sam Allardyce, uh, tend to play a bit of hoof ball. What I mean by that is getting centre-backs getting the ball and hoofing it up to the striker, kicking it up to the striker, playing the ball in the air. And Andy Carroll misses a very good early opportunity there. But to, 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 to Guzman um, and to Mattox. And we, <coughs> damn, oh, damn. We lose the ball here. Pablo Hernandez chips the ball up and Maddox can't get that head in the way. See, 
we regain the ball here from Neil Taylor. I just want you to remember where that move started. Got a lovely uh, flowing move here from left to right. All across the pitch. Pablo Hernandez picks it up here. Pays a nice one to Amichu. Cuts back inside. Back outside. Back inside. In the box. Back to Michu. Bang. First goal of the season. Getting um, 1 0 Swansea West Ham. Uh, West Ham we going through here. Andy Carroll. Through ball. Leto. One. Mm -hmm. This is the way it's going for us. But Pablo Hernandez regains the ball here. And uh, got a good bit of work here. Nathan Dyer, bang. 2 1. Well. Half time stats, doing pretty well. Pretty even possession, even, completely even on the shots. Uh, passing was 85%, which is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Um, got some play here. The goalkeeper absolutely screwed like that. Free run. And uh, pretty much trying to kill the game off there for us. Um, this time we have a good chance for that from the kick off here. Somehow I managed to let them turn through. Middle of our defence, and it almost get to go straight back. But I decided to make a couple, to, a couple of substitutions. Matic and Dyer off, uh, Routledge and Leroy Lita on. Uh, we have a nice free ball here from Routledge, and somehow we get a free kick out of that. De Guzman with a free kick. And straight down the goalie's throat. Not too great, not too great. But we have uh, coming up towards the end of the game and the end of the episode here, guys. Um, West Ham's last final chance here. Uh, so, yeah, coming up towards the end of the episode. Please hit that like button. It really helps me out. Um, and subscribe. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more content. Um, please leave a comment uh, if you're a fan of this series. If you'd like to see me buy anyone or anything or change my playstyle around, it would be much appreciated. Um, but thank you guys very much for watching. Um, we're going to see the stats here and I'll see you on the next episode.